Did you see the photos of the mouse performing CPR on a on I its did, nest and it, it stuck with me. I've been thinking about it all yeah, week. No, yeah. Seriously. I mean, the carbon footprint of AI is astonishing, isn't it? So it's really starting to look like maybe tiny little microbial Martians. We are using the morphological species concept and saying if they look like this animal, then they are this animal. Right, so everyone can be right. That's not a statement you get very often in <laughs> no, science. I'm a dire wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I think... I th People don't like the idea of... Um, you know, dumping chemicals in the sea as they see it. Yeah. Um, uh, but, you know, fair enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Computer scientists at Stanford, they've got this version of ChatGPT to simulate a thousand real people and basically create digital twins of them. And Jacob Aaron's here to tell us about it. It yeah. could not be yeah. I, I promise you I'm not a deep fake. <laughs> That's what they'd say. <laughs> One day of work by a single gopher can affect landscape for decades afterwards. That's right. So Sophie Bushwick is here to tell us all about it. These are the first hints we are seeing of an alien world that is possibly inhabited. And this is a revolutionary moment. It's all very exciting, isn't it? Life on another planet. It's very easy to get carried away. Our job is to pour cold water all over this.